Am I the asshole for telling my boyfriend he can't spend Christmas with me and the kids? My, 34 female, partner, 49 male, absolutely hates Christmas, and has ruined it for the past four Christmases by being mean. Whether it's moaning about hating the festivities, or saying it's pointless because his family isn't there, mum passed away 25 years ago, father 8 years ago, it actually boils down to a very depressing case of money. I'm poor, brought up poor. Not fussed because money really doesn't buy happiness. I have 3 teens and 1 2 Y, oh surprise baby with partner. I live with my children in my own home and work hard, pay bills etc, and expect nothing by way of financial help. I especially know not to ask from partner, because it always comes with additional cost be it interest, or hours to work at his. He, on the other hand, has retired early, and has made his pile, which is very commendable. However, this makes him particularly mean. He won't use electric at his despite owning and earning from a wind generator. He rarely buys food, and instead eats ours. He uses my car and van and doesn't refuel, let alone ship in towards tax, mow, repairs, servicing. He expects me to pay for everything, and so far I have, with minimal complaint because I'm always worried about being a financial burden, or not being worth the expense, I'm working on these issues, and I know he uses them to his advantage. Now though, Christmas is approaching. This Christmas is my last with my children all together for a while. The two eldest have applied to university, and both are likely to get in. The eldest says she'll possibly stay at uni for Christmas halls the second munchkin says they're considering the same. My boy might want to spend next one with my ex-husband. And so, Christmas 2023 might be very different indeed. This is why it's so important this year. For us, Christmas is spending the day together eating the best food we've had all year, homegrown mostly, homemade everything, usually digging out the old PS console, the Wii, and generally having a good laugh in front of the fire. It's about family and love. For my partner it's about how much he had to spend on stuff he personally doesn't get the benefit from. So I formally invited him this year, but told him that if there was any moaning about money, or how much he hates the hypocrisy of it all, or grumbling about waste, other people's, not ours, we waste nothing haha. He wouldn't be allowed to come. Am I the asshole or is it justified? Stop calling this man your partner. This is not a partner. Nothing about this is a partner. Get child support. Just because he retired doesn't mean he should have. He obviously shouldn't have if he is this frugal. The two-year-old is his and he still treats you like this? Not the asshole. But you are kinda if you don't end it and expose your children to this person more. He's not frugal. He just takes advantage of others. Like why does original poster let him use the vehicles if partner doesn't fill him up? Why let partner eat original poster's food if not contributing? Or as everyone says, dot why is original poster calling this person a partner? What in God's name does he bring to your relationship? I can't see any reason to be with a mean, grumpy, miser unless I was into self-hatred. You have five children, voluntarily. You are giving everything and receiving nothing. You're a doormat. Not the asshole about Christmas but you are about staying with this nothing man. Those were my exact thoughts. He sounds and acts like Scrooge. Jesus Christ why are you with this asshole? Not the asshole for Xmas, but YTA for continually exposing your kids to this person. Being alone is much better than being with a person like this. She's already helped him ruin four Christmas for her kids by exposing him to them, it's no wonder the older two have said they'll likely stay on campus over the Christmas break which is very telling. Not the asshole for your request but totally YTA for staying with the moocher. Yeah like so few students stay at uni over Christmas. When I almost had to I was so upset. It's very telling that both of them don't want to come home for Christmas. So you're well off elderly boyfriend is completely happy with stealing food out of your children's mouth rather than helping feed them? You are the asshole for being with this person and putting your children through that kind of abuse. 49 isn't elderly. He's 94 on the inside law. That's an insult to 94 year olds. You are the asshole for exposing your children to this awful man. He is horrible. He is financially exploiting you. I wish I could upvote this a million times original poster literally spelled out how much this man is mooching off of her, and she still isn't getting it. This man is just taking and taking and original poster doesn't want to burden her boyfriend? No wonder her kids are telling her that they are going to spend Christmas at school rather than at home with family. That right there is very telling. This. Also, she's the you are the asshole because she's modeling for her children this unhealthy dynamic. 
My mom did the same and it's taken me more than a decade of therapy to unpack that damage. If she can't dump him for herself, dump him for kids. So they see their mom finally standing up for herself and valuing herself. This ain't it original poster. A healthy relationship is about taking care of each other, you are deluding yourself for staying. Please disinvite him for Christmas and choose your family first. Why in God's name are you with this man? Are you dating Scrooge McDuck? Scrooge McDuck at least had the fun money pile to swim in and presumably heated his home. Definitely an improvement on original poster's partner. And he knew how to have fun with his nephews. Serious question. Why are you even with this person? Not the asshole. Not the asshole. He is mean and a wet blanket in general. I hope he has redeeming qualities that you haven't told us about, otherwise I have a hard time saying the point of him. I should probably add that I'm on the spectrum, which isn't an excuse, but I personally struggle understanding motives, so just assume I'm the bad one or I've done something wrong. Especially because I've already got a failed marriage, blended family, and I'm reminded of it by most people in my life. I've been on the waiting list for therapy for the past three years, for PND and PTSD, but there hasn't been any available in the area, and I struggle to cope with doing things one. For myself, and two. Out with my comfort zone. My eldest wants to spend Christmas in Germany with her uni course next year because she wants to immerse herself in the culture, but yes my second wants to avoid Christmas here because of my partner. My son doesn't see much of their dad, so he would like to spend Christmas with him as a special thing. I don't ask for child support because he doesn't earn money now except for investments, and I don't know where that leaves me, but it would be easier drawing blood from a stone, and I don't want it to be the reason he has a hold over me. He has already said he wouldn't bother with little one if we split, but then says if we split he'd have no reason to go on. I struggle with fears of my actions negatively impacting on others, and he knows this, and the irony is I haven't paid enough attention to how my children might feel. They generally just ignore him, but I've asked them about their feelings on it. Eldest says she likes him, but doesn't like his lack of morals or his treatment of me. Number two says they hate him. Son says he doesn't like him because he expects son to help round the house, and son doesn't want to, typical teen. But I can see where he's coming from. I am starting to see that I'm ta. I'm going to try to do better from now on. Thank you for your insight everyone. I don't know what country you are in, but there are laws that he has to pay for his child. Dump this loser and file for support. Definitely UK, likely Scotland. Mention of Mo for the car is a UK thing, and she used out with which is pretty Scottish. Yes. And somewhere with free healthcare because she's on a list for therapy. Original poster if you don't value yourself enough, start thinking about your children. As soon as they come of age, they will start avoiding you because of this asshole. And get child support. It's not your problem where he gets the money from. I suspect he has plenty of money and just doesn't want to spend it. Greater than they will start avoiding you because of this asshole they already are. Even in this comment original poster notes that one kid stated they don't want to come home for Xmas specifically because of him, and the other two just so happen to, have other plans, stay in Germany and go visit Biofather. This may be true, but also are likely to be good excuses to avoid the misery of being around original poster's partner. Not the asshole. You need to file for child support from your partner. I don't know anyone who spent Christmas at college, unless they were an overseas student of limited means, so I would be surprised if your kids didn't come home from college. Likely they're thinking that a grim lonely Christmas at college would still be better than spending it with this guy. It should be a massive warning sign to original poster. I can't be the first or only one to say this to you. Dot for Xmas present to yourself get rid of this man entirely. You deserve a partner in life, not a mooch. A cranky, useless mooch. Your life is about to change quite a bit once those two kids are gone to university and that empty space will be filled by his whining and complaining and good lord do you ever deserve someone better. And dang it make him pay child support, the little one deserves it. Why WBTA if you invited him to the last, altogether ex moss as he's already shown his lack of empathy or compassion. It's all about him. Change that and make it all about you and your family. I don't know if I read that correctly but he gives her money and she has to pay it back with interest? If ever there was a poster who needed to be told to dump his ass this is the one. Not only is he a miserable a-hole but a selfish greedy mooch who wants to retire early and live off another without actually living with them. Please stop being a doormat and file for child support. Do not waste another Christmas with this loser but don't waste another minute on him. You deserve better. Everyone sucks here, everybody sucks here. Him for obvious reasons. You, 
because you clearly have the means to live independently, yet you are staying in this terrible relationship and subjecting your children to it as well, their holidays have been ruined because of your decisions. And if you've been with him long enough to have four ruined Christmases, then you shouldn't have any two yo, surprise baby, with this asshole. But I'm sure you'll pop back on the thread to dispute the comments and say what a wonderful loving guy he is. Makes me think that the three kids no longer want to be at home because their last four have been ruined by the asshole. Why are you with him, original poster? He contributes nothing except bad experiences for your kids at a time in their lives when they should be building healthy traditions and views of a healthy relationship. He contributes neither. Why haven't you taken him to court for child support? He should be at minimum paying his fair share to raise the two-year-old. That isn't a loan that needs interest or you do work in return. Why are you with this person seriously? It can't possibly just be the love of cars, right? He sounds like an awful human being that is taking advantage of you and has been for so long you can no longer see it. Not the asshole for this but definitely you are the asshole for letting him walk all over you for this long. Oh honey, you deserve better. Dump the boyfriend, file for child support. Stop letting him mooch of off you and stop letting him suck the joy from your life. You are not a burden. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Have you ever considered that what he does by taking your food, diesel etc. When you have considerably less money than him is financial abuse. I think you need to get some advice from someone objective and a bit better informed than Reddit like women's aid. Honestly doesn't sound like this man treats you as well as you deserve. I hope you have a lovely Christmas with your children. Everyone sucks here. Look, the reality is that he's going to behave the way he always does and ruin your Christmas again. Your kids have made it as clear to you as they can that they don't want him there. You are the asshole for inviting him at all, and also for not standing up to him and letting him continue to financially and emotionally abuse you and your kids in this way. Disinvite him and have a fun holiday, then get a child support order. After having a good read through the thousands of comments and many messages, I agree I'm ta for staying with him. It isn't me making excuses, but spectrum stuff, fear of suicide and guilt kept me stuck. My eldest's dad committed suicide when she was two and I've always felt I should have been there for him more. I don't know if I could cope if the O carried through on his threat of it. I would feel responsible. My family shame me for a failed marriage, teen pregnancies and a blended family. I would be deliberately making the decision to make it even more FKD up in their eyes. My being on the spectrum makes me question everything, all the time, second guessing my reactions and panicking about getting it wrong. Every single minute of every single day. It's a lot. Through all of this, O was decent to begin with. I detailed his cars and we got chatting about engines. I helped him do up bits of his house, and we grew close. I'm an oddball, and was very lonely, and despite him being well known and from a well established family in the village, he was lonely too. And I knew about his miserly ishness in the beginning from the village talk, but it didn't bother me because I didn't think it would mean much then. I was told no more kids were possible after some let's cancer treatment on my cervix back in 2010. And he thought he was infertile. So even with being on the pill, Lo was definitely a surprise baby. I was delighted, he wasn't. He stuck around though, even though I assured him I didn't expect him to, and I could manage. Things just went a bit more pants every day, but I kept thinking it was hormones, I was being spectrum my, or it would get better, and I kept sticking my head in the sand. Then I got PND, well, before I had her, then birth trauma, then PTSD and intrusive thoughts. Then lockdown. Then mum got secondary breast cancer. Terminal. Then running back and forth, 70 miles a day to look after her, with the baby, then home with kids, my detailing business, constant phone calls from my dad, sometimes my brother, my O and his stuff, and all the while I'm still breastfeeding, carrying little around cuss she freaks out if I put her down or leave her side, I'm thinking I'm being hormonal, writing SHT off to that or spectrum, or tiredness, Lo only started sleeping 6 plus hours a month or two back, and everything turned into a pile of steamy poo. O and I have never lived together. He doesn't stay the night. I don't even have a key for his because he's dreadfully paranoid about break-ins and stuff. He spends a couple of hours here every day pretty much. Dips in at mealtimes, or for showers before heading out. He lives his own life. I know it isn't normal. I know it isn't right. But I've had bigger fish to fry, and only now am I trying to sort it all out. It's so easy to call me Ta. It's so much easier to become Ta out of neglecting to fix problems when they start to appear. I'm Ta, and I'm learning. I've drawn a line in the sand and said enough is enough. I'm sorry, and I've apologized to the children, and to him for me being an enabler and allowing him to do these things. 
all do better. Thank you everyone for the strength. Your life sounds tough original poster. Get therapy, take care of yourself, and dump this man and get child support. You've been doing an amazing job as a single mom. Enjoy your Christmas with your family. Not the asshole but why are you with this man? You can support yourself without him and it's time to cut him off. Don't let him use your car, don't pay for his food, nothing. He's financially abusing you. Original poster, the reason your oldest won't come to Xmas next year is because of him. He's ruined the past four, don't let him ruin this one so tell him not to even come. Why have you subjected your children to this? Not enough information why are you still with a man who doesn't pay for his kid, what's our food, doesn't have electric at his house, is means, makes you and the kids miserable? Why are you settling for such a partner when you're working so hard and doing so well to make a good life for yourself and your kids? He's so much older than you, there's not reason to burden yourself with a joyless partner, since it seems that he's not even helping with his kid. You deserve better. Be kind to yourself and know that you deserve the best in a partner who cheers you on and supports you, makes you happy.